Hey guys, Juggle Master here. Uh, today I will be teaching you how to juggle four balls. Let's get started. So four balls is a lot different than three balls. With three balls, if you saw my last video, I told you um, the crossover to the different hand. Well, for four balls, it's a little different. They're going to, um, you're going to have two balls in each hand, and they're going to stay in the same hand the entire time. So what I mean by this, it'll look like this, but for both hands. So it'll look like this. And if you look closely, you can tell that I'm not crossing them with other hands. They're all kind of staying in the same hand. So to break this down, basically, I'll just take one ball. And what you're gonna do is, you're gonna basically make a circle and you're not going to throw it straight up because then it will hit the other ball and just throwing it up. So what you want to do is when you throw it up, you want to kind of throw it to the outside a bit. Not too much because then it will make your arm, you know, your arms will look like this. Uh, but just enough so it gives enough space for the other ball to come up and also cross over. So you'll be moving your arm like this much. not a whole lot and then like I said the extra space gives room for the second ball to come in. So it'll, it'll look like this. And a good way to learn four balls is to just keep practicing this same trick over and over and then switch um, do it for both hands so that way you get used to it. And then once you got that down I suggest doing practice ones. Don't try and do continuous, maybe do practice. Like set a goal, so like I'm gonna do four throws and four catches. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, catch. Throw four, catch four. And just keep going up um, and eventually you'll get another good way to learn it is to do it in sync, and what that means is you throw them at the same time. So not, one's not going up and the other's going down, they're all the same. This is also a great way to help you get started with four balls. So you start and, and you just keep going the same. And then once you're ready, So as you get more advanced with four balls um, and you start doing tricks, um, a lot of times it's the same thing. You're going to have two, in, two balls in each hand the entire time. So for one trick, I'll do the pistons. Um, I still have two balls in each hand at all time. And that's how it's kind of always going to be whenever you're doing an even amount of balls. Um, so when you're doing like odd amount, say three, five, seven, nine, how many, however many, uh, you're going to always cross the balls. But whenever you're doing an even, even amount of balls, you're going to have the same amount in each hand. So if you guys have any questions about four balls or any four ball tricks, I'll be happy to answer them. Just let me know in the comments and subscribe if you're not already. I do a bunch of stuff and I'll, I'll see you guys on the next tutorial.